Hi everyone, so today I am doing another spring inspired look. Well, you could wear this whenever you wanted though. I absolutely love this look. It just features really soft pink eyeshadow with a really strong white winged out eyeliner. I really love the way this looks. I was heavily inspired by Amelia Clark. I hope that's how you pronounce her name. She's the actress of Game of Thrones and she is like an absolute babe. She wore this makeup. I was so obsessed. This video is also going to be a collaboration with my really good friend Heidi Cupcake. Check out her video. The link will be down below. She also so did a spring inspired look and came up with this bright pop of yellow on the inner corner. I absolutely love the way her look came out so make sure you go over and check it out. my skin I'm going to begin with a setting spray and putting this on before and after your makeup will just help it last a really long time. For my skin this is a bit strange I am actually using two different foundations well one is a foundation and one is a tinted moisturizer and I actually came out with this by accident this little combination so first of all I'm just going to apply some tinted moisturizer on my skin this is so dewy natural amazing but as you can see it is quite dark and I was applying this for the first time a few weeks ago and um, I decided, you know, I need to make it a little bit lighter. So that's when I took the HD foundation by Makeup Forever and put that on top. And the combination is so pretty, but obviously you can just use one foundation because I know a lot of people won't have both of these. Um, but the combination just looks so beautiful. On the computer, it doesn't actually look like it's too dark for me, but trust me, in real life it definitely was. I know here hair looks pretty much fine, but oh well, just trust me. As you can see here, you can totally see like my natural skin texture underneath. Any redness, blemishes and everything is still there, but I really like this look for spring and I'll just go in with my concealer and cover up anything else that needs to be covered up. going in with a concealer and this is a correcting concealer just to correct the dark circles I have so yeah I'm just putting that underneath my eyes and blending that out and then following up with a little bit of the concealer and powder as well I want intense glowing bronze skin so I'm using this cream contour color contouring my nose I put way too much on my nose at the beginning you'll see um, but I fixed it um, and then you know also gonna put that on my cheekbones temples anywhere I want to look bronzed and using cream just helps make it look quite natural and it looks like you're glowing from within which sounds so cliche but it's actually true like it looks so beautiful and I'm also going to bronze even more with a cream bronzer I mean the a powder bronzer afterwards I'm just cleaning up the mess I made on my nose by adding a little bit of concealer and blending that out. And then of course I'm going to brighten up my face a little bit because I just love the way this looks for like a spring tutorial. Really bright center of the face, so up on your forehead, chin, underneath your eyes. And I'm not going for like a real defined contour highlight look like Kim Kardashian or anything. I'm just adding a little bit of light to the middle of my face just to, I don't know, like I was just inspired by the picture of Amelia. She's very glowing and light and just amazing. So I'm doing this and then setting it and then bronzing some more. Always do your brows. So I'm starting off with the wax from my brow bar to go. I'm just putting this all over. And then after that's done, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow pomade and just fill in my brows. And then I'm going to go back in with that brow kit I just used and make my brows a little bit darker just because I felt like having dark brows today. And then you will have the perfect base to pull off your spring look. I just love the way this looks. I'm going to put on some Revital Lash. This is how I make my eyelashes really strong and long and thick. I love this stuff. 
I want to make sure I remain very bronze looking so for blush I'm using something really warm tone that's not going to come off too like pink or anything I really like this and then my favorite highlighting product of the moment you can see like look how stoked I am with life right now um, I'm just gonna put this on the top of my cheekbones and I love this because you can use it on like cream products or you can use it on top of powder even though it's a cream and it doesn't go all funny I love the color it is my favorite color at the moment Until somehow you can find a slightly different frame of mind Next I'm just going in with two different lipsticks, a nude and a pink, just to get that perfect kind of nude pink that she was wearing in the photo. Um, and then I'm going in with this eyeshadow stick thing by NYX, it's like a new one, but it's really really bad, I really don't like it. I'm sorry NYX, but it's just it's just clumpy and chunky and bad. Um, this was obviously the very first time I've ever used it. Um, and then I'm going in with a white eye eyeshadow pencil, no, white eyeliner from MAC, and I'm just doing a really light line where I want to put my liner. And then I'm going in with my oh so special palette by Sleek. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so tight and tired. And I'm going to use this beige color all over the lid. And then I'm going to blend out a whole lot of pinks on my crease. With your shattered frame of mind, instead you could always stay. We can wait right here and play until somehow you can find a slightly better frame of mind. Finish off by highlighting your brow bone and putting a really nice shimmery color on your inner corner just to brighten up those eyes and then your eyeshadow is pretty much done. Then you just want to go on to your pencil eyeliner I'm just pulling my eye quite tight, really gently of course, and then I'm just kind of applying the white eyeliner. That's it really. And then you can set it with a white eyeshadow afterwards. I feel like because the eyeshadow and everything is quite light, I feel like you need a really nice thin line of black eyeliner against your lashes just to thicken them up and not make them look all odd, I don't know. And then I'm just taking a nude eyeliner onto my waterline just to brighten up my eyes even more and applying a little bit of a matte brown just underneath my lash line just to kind of add some, I guess, some definition to my lashes and my eyeballs. <laughs> and then I'm going to take some EXO Beauty Fangirl Lashes and I'm just going to apply these and then your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and collaboration. Make sure you check the down bar for links and products used and everything. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much and leave me a comment. Bye. Just to make it look like we didn't even try. And then because the curls last so long and you don't have to touch up your curls, the next day you can just chuck some more of this in if you want a little bit more volume or you can just leave the curls as is. Um, and I just think it's really handy and a lot more convenient than carrying around like a massive foundation bottle. This one here is called Coverall Mix by Makeup Store and I love it.